welcome back to my channel. So I'm excited for this new season, 90 Day Fiance Before the 90 Days. It looks like a bunch of interesting couples, and I always like to get to know the new couples. So I want to talk about Usman, aka Soldier Boy, and his new girl Kim. So Usman is still trying hard to get that green card and get over to America. Usman was with baby girl Lisa, but she got dropped from 90 Day Fiance after she called Usman the N word. And I'm sure Usman was trying to scam Lisa to get over to America, but Lisa actually also scammed Usman. So Usman opened a cameo account, and somehow he couldn't get paid from Nigeria. So Lisa had to hook up her bank account to it, and she got over $27,000 from his cameos and never paid him. And she apologized, and he told her he's moved on, and he isn't worried about the money anymore. I made a video covering it like nine months ago, but Lisa's straight up admitted on Instagram Live that she ripped the man off for $27,000. So this lady that Usman is now talking to, her name is Kim. She's 50 years old. She's from San Diego, California, and she lives with her mom, and she's her mom's primary caregiver. And Kim has an obsession with Michael Jackson. The obsession is super real because she has thousands of dollars worth of Michael Jackson memorabilia all over her walls and shelves. So Kim has a son named Jamal and she was married to Jamal's dad for 20 years and then she found out he was cheating on her and she said there are so many different times he cheated on her it would take her too long to mention them all. And at the time of filming this season, Usman is 32 years old, so Kim and Usman have an 18-year age difference. And Kim said she met Usman because she messaged him on social media and said that she was a huge fan. And he ended up messaging her right back, and they messaged for three hours straight. Then they ended up exchanging numbers, and they started texting once a week. And now they talk every single day. And Kim and Usman have decided to meet up. So Usman is traveling to Tanzania to shoot a music video and Kimberly is going to fly there and meet him and they're going to spend two weeks together. So the producers asked Kimberly if her and Usman were dating and she says she considers Usman her boyfriend but he just calls her a potential but he claims he's only doing that because of the bad experiences he's had with his ex-wife baby girl Lisa and Kimberly says she knows she's a million times better than Lisa and she knows she can make Usman happy and Kimberly is totally fangirling over Soulja Boy and wearing a t-shirt with Soulja Boy on it and driving around listening to his music and Kimberly's mom is concerned with her age difference reminded Kimberly that she's old enough to be Usman's mother and Kim goes and she decides to go meet up with her friends to try to share her excitement about her upcoming trip to meet Usman but things didn't exactly go the way she wanted them too. So her friends asked Kim if she had plans of being intimate with Usman and she said yeah but Usman wanted to have two separate rooms just in case so he can have his own room and she has her own room and Kim isn't a fan of that idea but she doesn't want to feel like she's by herself the whole trip but she guarantees by the end of the trip that Usman will be staying in her room. And then Kim's friends asked Kim if Usman wanted kids, and she said, of course he does. It's his religion and culture. And they asked, your kids? And Kimberly said, hell no. She said that if her and Usman got married, she would allow Usman to marry a second wife and have a kid. So Kimberly said Usman wants more kids, and she feels like if Usman has multiple wives, she feels like it'll be okay because she loves him and she respects his religion and culture so much. But when she comes, but she comes across as that person that when she loves, she loves hard. And thinking and talking about your man having multiple wives and actually doing it is two different things. Like we've seen so many disasters, like in Seeking Sister Wife, for example. So she does doesn't come across as that person who'd want to share her man but she said she wants to prioritize Usman's happiness over hers and Kim said Usman was happy when she told him she would let him have multiple wives and her friend said well duh of course you're letting him have multiple wives and Kim did not like her friend's reaction through she threw a fit and she ran off on the beach and started crying. And she said she doesn't understand why people just can't be happy for her. And she's pissed her friends are getting so defensive over everything. 
And Kim's friends, they're just looking out for her. They're just concerned. They don't want to see their friend get hurt. So then they shut a first look of the next episode. And she flies over to Tanzania. And she is ruining the vibe at Usman's music video filming. So she's sitting there filming with this girl for this music video. And she's sitting there yelling at him. Saying he needs more energy. And yelling at him to take things serious. And yelling at everyone else around the music video saying everything's a mess and Usman deserves better just killing the whole vibe everybody was so pissed at her including Usman and they <laughs> didn't look like they were getting off to a good start but that's it for this video let me know your thoughts in the comments below let me know what other couples you want to hear me talk about on this season of 9 Day Fiance make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe and thank you so much for watching